everybody to another episode of Movie Social. We are your hosts, Ricky and Stefan. How you doing today, world? On today's episode, we're going to be doing a spoiler-free review of the Netflix series, Cursed, which stars uh, Catherine Longford. Yes, the same person from 13 Reasons Why. His name is Langford, bro. Langford. Longford, my bad. <laughs> Catherine Langford, 13 Reasons Why. All right, so this is set back in the medieval type of time. Yes, sir. And the way the kind of uh, King Arthur, uh, Merlin type of thing. Mm-hmm. But it's a, to me, it's taking a bit of a different approach to it. I mean, yes, it's the same old story, but everybody has their own different take on it. And to me, eh, it's not that it's good. It's not bad, but it's not the best yes. way of it. So far, it's okay. And just okay. As far as visual effects and it's special beautiful. effects, it was it's great. beautiful. But as far as the script, to me, I think it could have been more, added a little bit more detail into it, give a little bit more backstory. CGI is trash, by the way. Ah, Those wolves were trash, bro. No, the lighting was trash. I've seen better see looking wolves. wolves. Like when that Listen, wolf, they were trying to be kind of a mix of a dire wolf and a regular wolf in a way. They were trying to mix Game of Thrones dire wolves trash with regular wolves. I've seen CGI wolves before. Like for example, um, three hundred, and that was years ago. That wolf looked way more believable than this wolf, right? That that did those wolves. To me, but, I thought it was too dark for certain scenes, and that was one of them. They could have made it a bit lighter. They could have. But I guess they were trying to... Uh, I mean, because there was no lights. Yeah, anybody. they were trying to divulge on the rain and the darkness of that uh, scene, I guess. I don't know. Because of what happened on, across the world or whatever. But, yeah. yeah. But, yeah. And I think they, in the beginning, it was jumping over the, all over the place a little too much. Agreed. But, all in all, it's okay. It, I mean, it's not the best. King Arthur type movie I've seen or show but it's okay I mean it's something to watch to pass the time since you we're all for the most part still in the house I mean or should be still in the house would you recommend this like versus so you know how there's two there's just two things so there's recommendation like yo you gotta watch X Y and Z no, versus, I'm not doing that one. versus I, mean, I would say watch it if you need stumble to across it yeah, you know, or if you need something to watch. Okay. Definitely, if you have a Netflix subscription, watch it because there's no point of wasting it. Let your subscription go to waste if you are running out of things to watch on TV. Okay, so if I, if you're on Netflix and you just stumble across it, okay, hit that hit that enter button, and, you know, play. But I'm not. I'm definitely not. I honestly don't think you should waste your time personally. I mean, like I said, like as we agreed, some of the uh, production is great, the visual is great. Um, I feel like so far the casting is good. Yeah, the cast wasn't too bad. It's just, I don't know, maybe it's the script. I mean, we'll go further into detail about what our opinions and give full examples on the spoiler later version. Down mm-hmm. the line when we do our spoiler version. So be sure to check that out. Mm-hmm. But other than that, I'm giving it a 5.5 out of 10. I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. Fair enough. I mean, it's not too much I can say really on this one because. It really wasn't the best, but it wasn't the worst either. But you guys let us know what you thought in the comments below. Until next time.